Picasso, Da Vinci, Rembrandt. When one is asked to name great artists through history, these names usually come to mind. But ask someone to name female artists, and the question poses more of a challenge. Gosh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I cannot. <laughs> Camille Pizarro. Um, uh... For centuries, art has been a male-dominated field. And even though there's a bigger presence of women in art today, opportunities seem to tilt towards their male peers. To be able to, to train as an artist, to make your way in the world, it was very difficult for a woman to be a professional artist, particularly with societal expectations, which continue even today. As with many other fields, women are underrepresented in the arts too. Now, over half the visual artists in the world are women, but they earn far less than men. And when it comes to the top selling artists on the market, only a handful on that list are women. In 2014, Georgia O'Keeffe sold a painting for almost $45 million, setting a record for an artwork by a female artist. But that's nothing compared to Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, which sold in 2017 for $450 million, the highest price ever achieved for artwork sold at auction. Work by Mary Cassatt, a popular painter in the 19th century, also fetches a lot less than her fellow impressionist Claude Monet at auctions. Well, sadly, she still stands below her male counterparts, which is quite extraordinary when you look at the auction prices. Um, she just she just doesn't fetch the same price. The past can't be changed, but some galleries today have launched social media campaigns to change mindsets. And institutions like the National Gallery of Art have made more space for women in their collections, not just to fill a quota, but because they feel they deserve the recognition. I think most people would think, oh, yes, I know women artists, until you actually challenge them, and suddenly they realize they can't. And then they start thinking, well, why can't I? Launching social media campaigns could push women to take a bigger bite of the $45 billion art market. But art collectors will still have the last word. Men still control the bulk of wealth, and so they can patronize, they can collect, whereas many women don't have necessarily the means or they choose to patronize in other ways. Me too, me too, me too. It may have a hashtag now, but it's been a clarion call for women in the art for centuries now. The question is, at what point will they be heard? Maria Galang, CGTN, Washington.